Hi everybody, Cynthia here. So yesterday I showed you guys how I made these really cute watermelon slices and little chunks. And I will post a link below to that video in case you missed it. But I was using these to create this cute tag that I put on this sweet little treat tote bag. And the tree tote bag and the tag is what we're creating today. So let's get started. Uh, one of these guys has the foam on. I think it's over there. We'll find it. Okay. So let's make our tag first. And then we'll create our little treat bag. So for my tag... And let me just make sure I'm in camera here. My tag I ran through with my embossing folder, and I'm using a sheet that measures three and a quarter by one and three quarters. I'm gonna line up this bottom right hand corner on the one and a half inch cut line. My top right hand corner is gonna go past my cut line to the quarter inch mark. And we're gonna cut and it just cuts this little piece out here and that's what creates our tag cut there I'm gonna flip it around line this bottom right hand corner again with the one and a half inch mark top right hand corner goes past the cut line to the quarter inch cut line and cut Oh, it's thundering again. It's our rainy season, so it usually rains just about every day. I'm going to round the corners of my tag, and then I'm also going to punch a hole in the center. I have some twine that measures about 10 inches. I'm going to put these two pieces together. Put them through the tag and then back over through this loop. And I'm going to pull. Oh, turn my hot glue gun on there. Okay, so now I have my twine on. I'm just going to take one of those embellishments we created yesterday. Happy Thursday, by the way. I'm actually on time with my video for a change. I'm going to be adding, I'm definitely going to have videos Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays, but I'm going to be adding more. Like today, I'm going to do a few videos. This weekend, I'll do a few videos. My Jingle Jangle in July series starts tomorrow, July 1st. So I'm super excited about that. I'm going to be doing a few Christmas projects for the month of July. And then in August, I think it's August. Let me look. Um, maybe August 6th. I start my Halloween series already. can't believe it. Time is flying, especially with working summer school. That's, a, that's been a little crazy. Okay, so I stamped out your one in a melon and the stamp set that I used to create that is from Paper Tray Ink. It's called Fruit Fusion Melon Stamp Set. And it has these cute little watermelons you could stamp out, but I, I just wanted to create my own from cardstock. And it has like, thanks, A, melon, your one in a melon, Thanks a melon. So I thought that was really cute. I'm just going to create my little banner piece. Let me get my other scissors. I like my long scissors for this one. Cut across there. These are cute little treat bags you can add into your Happy Mail or use as a birthday. 
I'm just going to cut in a little banner and make a cut there and a cut there. Let me trim that down a little bit. I don't like that cut. Okay. And then I'm going to glue this onto some black cardstock. We had just gotten home from work and I thought, let me go right into the art room. Oh, got a little too much glue there. And get this video going. You ever feel like sometimes if you get home from work and you go and you sit down to relax, you don't want to get back up to do anything? That's how I feel sometimes. Okay, and I'm just going to trim that off so I leave a little bit of a black border to my banner piece here. Okay, just like that. We get these scrap pieces out of the way. I am going to use a little bit of foam tape on the back of that. To add some dimension. I'm going to place it kind of in the center there and leave these hanging off a little bit. And then I used this pink and white gingham ribbon. And I purchased this a long time ago from the Paper Mart online. I can also post the link below to that if you want to check that out. But I've already made my bow. So right about here where my loop is for the twine. I'm going to add a little bit of hot glue. And glue on my ribbon. Okay, so the tag is all ready. Let's start the treat bag. I'm going to get out my scoreboard. You're going to need a sheet of cardstock that measures eight by five and a half, and you want to line it up at the eight inch mark. You're going to score at three and a half and four and a half. And then you want to flip it so it's lined up at the five and a half inch. And you're going to score at one inch on both sides. So one inch, turn it around, and score again at one inch. Again, those measurements are three and a half four and a half, flip it around, and you score at one inch on both sides. So I'm going to fold up my score lines. And then I'm going to mat the front and the back of the bag before I do any cutting. So the mats that I have here measure three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And I just decided to mat the front and back of my little tree bag. You could mat the sides and the bottom if you wanted. But I just thought it looked cute with the pink and the green, so I left it alone. Run my bone folder over that. Again, three and a quarter by three and a quarter. Okay, so I'm going to turn my bag this way, and I'm going to go in and I'm going to cut up on this score line 
to meet up with the next one. Just don't cut over. And then I'm going to cut out a little triangle piece there. Same thing here. Cut up on that score line to meet the next one. And then just cut yourself a little wedge out. And that way when you bring the box together, it just stays, it's just easier to put together. We're going to do the same thing on this side. Cut up on the score line. Little wedge out. Cut up on the score line. Take a little wedge out. Now I'm going to put my tabs in. Add a little bit of glue to both of those tabs. And I'm going to fold this up to meet this side with it. Same thing over here. Push down with my bone folder on those. Okay. I'm going to add some adhesive to these flaps here. I'm just going to fold my box down, or my bag, and then pull the sides up to meet. Same thing over here. Just fold the side over, and then on the inside, I'm going to run my bone folder over it so I know that it's nice and adhered down. Now at this point, you don't have to pinch the sides, you could just leave it like this, decorate the front, entirely up to you. But I like to push in with my fingers on both sides, and you're just going to push in and pinch these two corners together to create a little bag. Okay, and then to secure the bag closed, I'm just going to punch a circle right here on the top, trying to keep it in the center. I'm going to take my two pieces of my twine and loop those right into the circle. Pull the tag up like this. And then on the back here, just to secure it closed, I'm going to tie a little bow. Okay, so that's the back. That's the front with our tag. And that is the nice little treat bag. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and happy crafting.